Hi everyone and welcome back to our channel or welcome to our channel if you're new. For today's video, we'll be diving into some Valentine's Day themed content. So for today, we will be making a Valentine's Day flower bouquet. Now this bouquet is made with artificial flowers that we got from the dollar store. However, if you'd like to use actual roses and daisies and things like that for this, you can definitely do so. We just wanted to use artificial ones because of course they last longer, they're pretty much permanent. And we also found these very beautiful roses from the dollar store that are like velvet material. So we thought this would be really cute. This is a great gift for Valentine's Day of course. And it would be really great to gift this to someone, letting them know that you made it yourself. So before we get started, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and also like the video. And without further ado, let's get on into the video to see how this was made. Alright, so of course you're going to need some supplies. So we have some tape, scissors, of course we have our little gummy teddy bear chocolate. You can use any type that you'd like. You'll also need some decorative ribbons, some thinner ribbon, and of course you need artificial flowers. Now we went of course with the traditional white and red theme for Valentine's Day. You can change up the colors, you can even do multicolored, which will look really great. We have some pliers here as well to cut the stems. And yeah, you don't need too much for this. It's a really, really simple, easy type of DIY. So not too much supply is needed. All right, so the first part of this is that you want to arrange your bouquet. Now, before putting anything together, you want to take all of the roses or whatever larger and taller flowers that you have, if you get what I mean, flowers that are much longer than the other ones, you want to start working with them first because we're making the bouquet in a way where the roses are at the top and the smaller, more condensed flowers are in the middle. Now, as you can see here, we're adding in those condensed flowers, which are the white flowers here. We're also putting more of the roses around it just to make a nice cohesive bouquet. Now, you can by all means change this up. You can add different colors. You can change the shape. We wanted to go with this shape to make it look like one of the bouquets you can hold in your hand. And also because it really works out well this way whenever you're going to wrap it because you can wrap it with saran wrap or some gift paper to hand off to someone. Now, as you can see here, we're taking the tape and you're going to carefully tape the stems. Now, you can use more <laughs> stronger tape. We thought this tape was really easy to use and it, it actually held it together for a very long time until we were ready to take it out. So you don't need very heavy duty tape for this and you want to make sure it's transparent tape because you're going to be putting ribbons on top. Once you have that in place, you can start rearranging the flowers and moving them around just so that the shape is to your liking. We're now moving on to the ribbon. Now we found this really cute heart um, netted ribbon, which we thought would look really great as part of the kind of tie that keeps everything together. So we want to hide all of that tape just so it looks like as if the ribbon is what's keeping all of this together. Now, of course, realistically, the ribbon can't keep it together. So we're going to, of course, put some more tape on that. That's why the transparent tape comes in handy for this. Once you have that nice and securely in place, you're now going to work on the stems. Now you can keep the, the long stems. As you can see here, we're going to add a little more ribbon just to bring the stems more together because they were kind of like separated at the end, which didn't really look good in our opinion, but you can always leave it like that if you like it that way. So we're just adding a little more to make things more tight, then putting some more tape on top of that. Now with the stems that are left at the bottom, we decided we're going to take the pliers and cut the rest of the stems down a little bit shorter because they looked a bit too long at the end. And you don't want to cut it too, too short because of course then it's going to look a little off with the ribbon on the end as well. So you want to keep a little bit of it there just so that you could see the stem peeking through. And be careful with these, they tend to fly everywhere as you can see there. And now our final touch is the candy or like whatever you want to put in the middle. Now you don't have to put anything in the middle, you can just leave it plain with the flowers if you'd like. But we found this really cute candy at the dollar store and we thought, okay, this is going to look really cute right in the center. So you're going to take a piece of ribbon and you're going to tie it around the center stem. So whatever stems are in the center 
of the bouquet underneath the flowers, you're going to tie the ribbon and the candy together with that, just to keep it secure. I'm then taking the scissors and then making it look like a bow. We also added another decorative bow at the end there because we thought it looked a little barren. But that is the final bouquet completed. As you can see, really, really simple to make. And it's really affordable, especially if you're not looking to go out and spend loads of money on an actual expensive bouquet, but you wanted to make something that's more sentimental and homemade. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to leave a like. Comment down below what you thought of this video and other videos on our channel. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more videos every single week. We hope you've been enjoying our videos so far this month and we're looking forward to making even more Valentine's Day themed videos and a lot more DIYs in the upcoming future. So I hope you guys have a fantastic week and happy Valentine's Day to those of you who are celebrating. And of course, thanks for watching.